Okay, we want to see you on the PGLZ 32, 366 days of cards, and another deck review for you. This one is the Curator deck. And as you can see, it says Curator, and it has some scissors on here. It's Emmanuel GLZ, Limited Edition, or Limited Artist Edition on the bottom. On the side, it says Curator. Top, it says Emmanuel. Jose.com, not dot com, like Miss Meg says, dot com, cartoonteacher.com. <laughs> anyway, on the bottom, House of Point Cards logo, and there's some trademark stuff. On the back, well, that's it. It says Emmanuel Jose on the bottom, and it's got an Ace of Spades, a, a spade logo with the E on it for Emmanuel. That's his logo, I guess. And there's no seal, and there's also nothing on the flaps. So that's that. Inside you do get a card that says, it's got some information on it, it says Curator in 2011 I made an Ace of Spades by paper cutting technique. It had been five years since I made art. I began with one card a week. This deck is only one of many. Explore the modern and the antique relics of history, culture and art. Cards captivate without having to speak. Little do you know by owning this deck, the responsibilities are unique. Through play, performance, and preservation, you're the curator of all playing cards seek. Emmanuel Jose. And it even rhymes almost like a poem. And here's the back of the cards. It basically, it's, it, it kind of has some of the elements of the heraldry decks that I reviewed yesterday. Except it's got scissors on it. Because <laughs> I guess he made the, the cards by cutting out lots of stuff. And then you do get a House of Playing Cards ad card. And again, you have back design. Very simple, I think, but nice. All the cards are different, so this is going to be a little bit of a long review. <laughs> Here's one Joker. You can see it's got a black star in the corners. It's got a star that's black in the center, red on the outside. And there is a bit of white in there as well, in between the black and the white. There you go. And once you got into this clown type guy, he's juggling some balls, each ball has a different suit on it, and the colors are, well, red with black and black with red. I can't quite get the word that I wanted to say, but anyways, and he's got a star on his hat, and he's happy. The other one, you kind of got the opposing colors, the star is red, and there's black on the outside. He's lost his smile, and he's dropped his balls as well. The Ace of Spades, really nice. It's some kind of a phoenix or an eagle, some kind of a bird. And it's got its wings up. And its tail feathers make the bottom of the pip. Very nice. Every card has a picture on it. And what I like about it is that he incorporates the pips into each picture. Like this one, you see a kid swinging on a tire. That's attached to a pip. He could have easily made, you know, 52 cards with different pictures on them and had no pips but he actually went to the trouble of incorporating the pips in each and every card in a unique way Free of spades it's a zipper it's some kind of a jacket i guess that's being unzipped or zipped up four of spades spider web complete with spider and under my finger there's a little fly here it's going to go into the trap five of spades it's tic-tac-toe. I mean, uh, yeah. Tic-tac-toe, right? <laughs> the six. Six kebabs, or six kebabs. Six kebabs, six kebabs. <laughs> very similar. I like how I incorporated that. Six kebabs, six kebabs. Sounds very similar. Seven. Little Red Riding Hood. With a wolf trying to attack her. And trees. Eight of spades. I'm not really sure what what it's from but it's maybe it's a little bow peep I don't know you see a bunch of sheep jumping around there's a fence in there nine of spades uh, looks like roadkill these look like tire tracks and here you got a dead squirrel or tip monkey it's even got like a X over its eye where its eye is <laughs> so uh, it looks like roadkill <laughs> the ten is something that's being crocheted 
and you can see they're still working on this pip which is actually crooked Zach is the Jack in the box who cranked himself out of the box looks like he's pretty happy to be free Queen of Spades is a Queen Bee King of Spades is a frog that's been kissed that he hasn't turned into a prince, at least not yet. <laughs> the Ace of Hearts looks like the Venus fly trap or whatever, it's some kind of a trap and the fly's stuck in there. Two of Hearts is a hourglass with the heart dripping into the other one. Three of Hearts is the, um, shoot, I always forget the name of this, <laughs> but it's the Aboriginal. Thing and you can see they have different faces in each pip. That's kind of cool. It's a um, totem pole, is what it is. I always forget. Four of hearts is candies. Five hearts is a teddy bear. Six of hearts is a a kid roasting some weenies over a fire, camping, I guess. Seven of hearts is a bunch of hot air balloons. There's some clouds in there and some trees down here and each one is different so that's kind of cool the eight of hearts is a uh, little girl drawing a heart on the ground i guess the nine of hearts looks like uh, one of those girdles or whatever that women wear to tuck in their big belly <laughs> or used to wear anyways i'm not sure how much they wear that nowadays either that or it's part of a suit the Ten of Hearts features a bunch of ants carrying what I guess is heart shaped candies, I'm not sure, or leaf. The Jack of Hearts is the Lumberjack, with the axe actually being part of the pip, so that's kind of interesting. Queen of Hearts is a queen in a chess game, and she's basically murdered the other piece, it's blood all over it. <laughs> King of Hearts is some kind of a serpent. Or a snake, a serpent king, I guess. The ace of clubs is that toxic symbol. Two is a baby, and here is the other pip in his mouth. Three of clubs is a spaceship, a NASA spaceship taking off, and there's the other pip in there. It's kind of cool. And again, four of clubs is some kind of a gangster chick firing a gun at you, and there's that pip again. Incorporated in the card. Five of clubs, a guitar, and there's the pip in the center there on the guitar. Six of clubs is a guy trying to lift some pips. Seven of clubs features a chair tied to some club shaped balloons and it's taking off. <laughs> the eight of clubs is a rosary and it's really nicely done how he incorporated the pips. The nine of clubs is a girl trying to hit this club safe pinata. Ten of hearts, perfect for the Christmas season, a Christmas wreath. Jack of clubs is Zach and Jill. They went up the hill. Zach is down here, looks like he's bumped his head, he's got a headache. His pail's been knocked over. And there's Jill up there, she's just flying right down the hill. That's hilarious. I think it's hilarious how she just like going right down the hill but that's Jack and Jill Queen of Clubs looks like some kind of a swan I'm not sure exactly what it is King of Clubs again I don't know what it represents but some kind of a prince or a king looks like he's sad he's got a, a sword stuck into this rock he's pondering something it looks like Ace of Diamonds is a uh, compass complete with north, south, east, and west on there well, you can't really tell. Two of diamonds is a merry-go-round horse. Three of diamonds, some kids on a teeter-totter, seesaw, whatever you call it. Four of diamonds is a guy flying a kite. Five of diamonds is Humpty Dumpty. Look at this. He falls down, hits this pip right there, and breaks and out comes a chick. Six of diamonds is a matador, and you can see his thing here is actually a pip. Seven of diamonds is a dream catcher and the pips incorporated into the feathers and what this is in case you don't know is 
an Aboriginal thing, a native thing where they hang this in the window or somewhere in the house and it's supposed to catch the bad spirits or demons to keep them out. Eight of diamonds, really nice. It's a couple of deer it's next to a stream having some water. And you can see the reflection and the waves in the water. Really well done. Nine of diamonds, uh, nine of diamonds is a margarita. Ten of diamonds, a paintbrush with a bunch of painted pips. Zack of diamonds is Jack and a beanstalk, going up the beanstalk with a bag of something. Queen of diamonds, some kind of a, a woman, looks like she's from a pageant. She's got that ribbon on her and a crown of some sort. And king of diamonds, the king of the jungle, the lion. And he's actually got a mouse on his nose. Kind of interesting. So that's basically what you get. It's very interesting. Every card is different. The back design is quite simple. There's actually a deck on Kickstarter now. It's just called a, it's a simple deck by name. And it features the word simple like a million times across the back design. Very small writing. And it doesn't feature any pips. Instead it just says six of diamonds or king of diamonds or two of clubs or whatever the card is on it. Really lacks imagination. It's really, really simple. It's really like simple minded people, I think. <laughs> but anyways, these cards, I don't know what kind of a stalker finish they have. I obviously have Feels like a fairly standard bicycle stock and finish. They handle pretty nice. Overall for the faces, I'll give them a 4 out of 5. They just threw a bunch of pictures in there. Made it work. I like how they incorporated pips. Really nice. The back design is not bad. I would probably have to rate it. A three and a half out of five, I just really don't feel it a whole lot. It's nice and simple, but it's kind of bizarre that it has scissors on it. Overall, I'd probably give the deck a four out of five. As for its usability, you're probably not going to want to pull this one out to do floor scene or to play cards. Because every card is different and it's more of an art piece. And you're probably also not going to pull it out to do magic. However, you can use the different cards for magic tricks for different like story purposes. Like if you're going to do a trick, you're going to talk about something. You can throw in one of these and say there's jacket, there's little red Riding Hood. She lost a teddy bear. Blah blah. You know, you can incorporate some of these into a story card trick. So it does have some usability for magic, but not for your standard tricks. I look forward to seeing what else this guy comes up with. That is my review on the curator deck. Quite a few more reviews to come over the next few days. And I'll see you next time.